やっと人になれたと俺はなんてフラッシュな情けない人間か驚くではないかここにいたあの役者は作り事の絵空ごとの熱情に全身全霊を打ち込んで想像の世界に入り込み顔を合わせて涙を流し怒りも心乱れたりし心はかすれ一挙手一投足はその頭の中の思いと符合しているそれがみんなデジタルだとヘカメのためあっ100にとってヘカメのないんだやつがヘカメのなんだったんだろこんなふうないたりしてもしあの役者に俺と同じ熱情の動機がありきっかけがあったらやつは一体何をする舞台を涙の洪水で沈め恐ろしいセリフで観客の耳をつんざき罪あるものを狂わせ罪なき者をおのどかせ何も知らぬ者を戸惑わせるだろう皆目と耳を麻痺させ呆然とするにしかいないそれなのにこの本どうだ引くじらしの泣き者を白昼のにふけってすべきこともせず何も言えないでへい王の位のその尊い命を無残に奪われたというのはこれは臆病者だ誰だ俺は悪党を呼ばわるし俺の頭をぶち割るのこのひげを知って顔を吹きつけこのねじをねじ上げ嘘つきやろうと思ってもしれないやしかしそれも大変だねというのも俺は鳩の浮き輪だ肩筋肉も着替えつないないに違いないからなさまざまなとっくにあの野郎の腹をとぶちかけて空の富士山を二人さんに残しろ死ぬ日らし悪党恥知らず恩知らず女魂人の野心悪党名を復讐だえいなんてバカな女だ我らが見上げたこの俺が愛しい父を殺された息子は天も死も復讐しろと呼びかけてるのに媒体を祝う心の無礼さを言葉に話し老子に立てるババさんに言いたいぞ消す野郎と情けないぞえ頭を働かせろそういえば聞いたことない墨やる者が芝居を見て場面の終末に胸を打たれ心を深く揺さぶられ直ちに悪事を白状してた人殺しの悪事は不思議なことに、舌がないのに口を聞く。あの役者に中に父親災害が殺害に似た芝居を出せ、おじきに見せてやろう。その顔色を伺え、痛いところをされてやる。少しでも足りないよう、やれることがあった。俺が見た俺は、悪の顔して、悪魔の相手のあの姿のようにして、現れた。そうとも、ひょっとして俺が。憂鬱になり、気弱になっているのにつけ込んで、まんまと俺をたぶらかし、自分を追い落とそうというコンタクトもっと確かな証拠が欲しい、それが芝居だ、芝居を見て、王の本心を捕まえてみせる。Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. We'll do well whatever we can. And Kyle is up next. So everybody give a round of applause. Awesome hat. This one? Yeah. Don't use microphones too long. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, a poem by Edgar Allan Poe and then move into my own stuff. It's pretty often that when people say, oh, Edgar Allan Poe is the one that got you into poetry, they think, wow, he must have some really twisted poems in, the, in behind in his story. You know? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I enjoy the Mockingbird. I, I really do. But uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that Poe also had a, a very large assortment of really beautiful love poems. And that duality is something that I can really, really respect. This is uh, his poem two, dash, dash. He had a habit of not titling his poems with the names of the people that he cared about. 
Not long ago, the writer of these lines, in the mad pride of intellectuality, maintained the power of words, denied that ever a thought arose within the human brain beyond the utterance of the human tongue. And now, as if in mockery of that boast, two words, two foreign, soft to syllables, Italian tone, made only to be murmured by angels dreaming in the moonlit dew that hangs like chains of pearl on Herman Hill, have stirred from out of the abysses of his heart, unthought like thoughts that are the souls of thought, richer, far wilder, far diviner visions than even the Sarah Harper Dislefeld, who has the sweetest voice of all God's creatures, could hope to utter. And I, my spells are broken. The pen falls powerless from my shivering hand with thy dear name as text, though bidden by thee. I cannot write. I cannot speak or think. Alas, I cannot feel. For tis not feeling, this standing motionless upon the golden threshold of the wide open gate of dreams. Gazing, entranced, adown the gorgeous vista, and thrilling as I see upon the right, upon the left, and all the way along, amid unpurpled vapors, far away to where the prospect terminates, the only. Like I said, something like that is just something that I think should be recognized by Poe, and it's very solid. Done. Uh, this is one of my really, really early love poems. This was, uh, I guess not, this was about halfway through from when I started writing to now. Uh, it was my senior year at high school. It's called Walk By Me. Walk by me. These treacherous roads misguide my step. And I think that we, together, will avoid any trap which may try to spring itself on us in the hush after we've started walking our way through the brush. Here, hold tight my hand and cling to me now, for if not, we may lose each other in the sand of time. How lost, then, we would be, unable to hear, unable to see. Alone without each other is worse than lost together, and it would be that fate I curse should we our tie sever. Walk by me, hold me tight forever. Let us turn to see the path we've left behind, but alas, it's such a dainty swag. But how kind of the stones to sink and fade away, leaving us stranded, flesh and bones, to keep us our path weaving. However dangerous it may become, and keep us our heart beating through the pain of what's been done, light and dark. But we wouldn't be alone if we see each other so. Alone without each other is worse than lost together, and it would be that fate I curse, should we are thy sever. Let us turn to each other and keep each other's heart forever. Thank you. Um, I, I've always respected a lot of the poet's ability to keep to a standard rhyme scheme, but by that same token, I never thought that they were that pleasant to hear. I'll read a lot. Uh, often you'll notice that lyricists in a lot of the songs of today, especially, don't follow that, that rhyme scheme. And I like to incorporate in this. Uh, a combination of the two, wherein if you were to look at what's written, it is in itself stylized um, indentations, very common, uh, longer lines or shorter lines, so that the poem itself, the words on the page without even reading them, is in its own way something that you can dissect. Just something interesting to try. <laughs> 